welcome to Techie Talking. Hello friends. In this video, I'll be explaining you on how to write a Python program to generate the Fibonacci series till the end step. So first of all, what is this Fibonacci series? It is a series of numbers where a number would be generated by adding two preceding numbers. This Fibonacci series starts with zero. The next number is one. To generate the third number, we'll have to add the first two numbers. So zero plus one is one. And to generate the next number, we'll have to add the previous two numbers. One plus one is two. The next number will be one plus two, which will be three. And it keeps going on. This is the formula to get the Fibonacci value, which is the nth value will be the sum of n minus one and n minus two. Now let me show you how to write a Python program to implement this logic. Here in this program, first I'm getting the user input, which I'm going to store it in the variable val. And this is the input which is going to tell me till what term the Fibonacci series has to be generated. So this input method is going to return the string object. So I'm converting it to integer here. Next, I'm initializing these three variables here. The reason for having three variables is to calculate the Fibonacci number and swap them internally. So when I explain you the logic, you'll be able to understand the purpose of these variables clearly. Having said that, I'm storing the input value in the val variable. I still have to check if it is a positive number or not. So I have given an if condition here to check if the number is less than zero. In that case, it is going to print a message that the value entered is a negative number. Though Fibonacci series supports negative number, this Python code is written to generate only positive Fibonacci values. If the value is not less than zero, next, my condition would be to check if it is equal to zero. If is, I'm printing the value of zero on the output screen. Otherwise, the execution will go to the else part which has a while loop, which is the crux for generating the Fibonacci series. This while loop is going to execute for a certain number of times to print the series. Let me explain you in detail on how this loop works. This is the code snippet that will generate the series. And I have five variables here, which are i, val, num1, num2, and num3. And this is going to be my output window I'm going to show you the output during the code execution. So as per my code, let me first initialize the variables. First, I have val variable where I'm going to get the input value from the user. Let's try running this code by giving the value to be six. And I have the series generated here. So the val variable is six, which I'll write it here. Next, the value of num one is zero. The value of num two is one. And the value of num three is zero. And the value of this variable i is zero. And this is the while block that is going to get executed. So first it is going to print a series of six terms. The while loop is going to check for the condition zero less than six. Yes, that is true. So first it will print the value of num one. The value of num one is zero. So zero gets printed there. Next, num3 equal to num1 plus num2. So this value is going to be 0 plus 1. So it is going to get updated to 1. num1 equal to num2. So what is the value of num2? It is 1. That will get assigned to num1. So num1 also becomes 1. num2 equal to num3. The value in num3 is 1 that will get assigned to num2. So num2 also becomes one. Next, i gets incremented by one. So let me update here 
as 1 while 1 less than 6 yes that is true so print num1 the value in num1 is 1 so 1 gets printed on the output window num3 equal to num1 plus num2 so this is going to be 1 plus 1 so it's going to be updated to 2 num1 equal to num2 the value in num2 is 1 which will be updated to num1 num2 equal to num3 the value in num3 is 2 which will get updated to num2 so num2 also becomes 2 now i plus equal to 1 now the value of i becomes 2 while 2 less than 6 print num1 so now the num1 is 1 so 1 gets printed here num3 equal to num1 plus num2 so 1 plus 2 which will be 3 and it gets updated in num3 num1 equal to num2 so the value num2 is 2 which will be updated to num1 so so num1 also becomes 2 num2 equal to num3 the value in num3 is 3 so num2 will become 3 i plus equal to 1 so now i becomes 3 3 less than 6 that is true so print num1 the value in num1 is 2 so now 2 is going to get printed in the output window num3 equal to num1 plus num2 so 2 plus 3 now num3 will become 5 num1 equal to num2 num2 is 3 so num1 will also become 3 num2 equal to num3 the value num3 is 5 so num2 also becomes 5 i plus equal to 1 so now i is going to be 4 while 4 less than 6 that is true so i am printing the value of num1 which is 3 so 3 gets printed in the output window num3 equal to num1 plus num2 so this is going to be 3 plus 5 which will be 8 num1 equal to num2 value in num2 is 5 num1 also is going to be 5 now num2 equal to num3 the value in num3 is 8 so num2 is also going to be 8 i is going to be incremented by 1 now so now i becomes 5 while 5 less than 6 that is true so print num1 the value in num1 is 5 so 5 gets printed on the screen num3 equal to num1 plus num2 this is going to be 8 plus 5 which is 13 num num1 equal to num2 so num1 is now going to hold the value of 8 num2 equal to num3 so num2 is going to be 13 now and i is going to be incremented by 1 so now the value of i will be 6 while 6 less than 6 no that is not true so the control exits from the while loop and this is the series that will get printed on the screen the same got printed in the python screen as well fibonacci series of six terms and 0 1 1 2 3 5 got printed there hey guys hope you now understood how to write a python program to generate the fibonacci series of n terms thank you for watching this video if you have any queries you can reach out to me at techitoki@gmail.com Happy learning and have a great day.